Hello, everyone. Welcome to Catherine's ESL Classroom. In today's lesson, we are going to focus on conjunctions. Yes, conjunctions, we're going to learn four of them. The four conjunctions we are going to learn are neither, either, so, and two. So let's get started and learn some more. Okay, are you ready? Now let's repeat the word conjunctions. Repeat, conjunctions. Either versus neither. So versus two. We're going to review them. We're going to go over some examples and then we're going to practice. So our review. Now, a good way to understand either and neither is to learn about the word both. Do you know what the, what the word both means? Well, both is the two alternatives, this and that. For example, I can speak both English and Spanish, okay? Either, is one of the two alternatives, this or that. For example, I can speak either English or Spanish, which is easier for you to understand, okay? So you're noticing I'm saying or, so we're saying either I can speak English or Spanish, we can say that, or we can say, I can speak either English or Spanish. So anytime you are comparing two things and you can speak either or both, then you can say either. Sometimes people say, I can speak both English and Spanish or Spanish. Which one do you think is correct? I'm going to repeat this and put it down in the comments because I wanna see what, you understand, and sometimes this is good for conversation. I can speak either English or Spanish, or do we say, I can speak both English and Spanish? Which one? Now, I'm going to say another one. I can speak either English and Spanish. Is that correct? No. You know why? because you have to use the word both with and. And to give you a hint for the first question, you can only use either with or. You would not say either with and, okay? I kind of gave the, the answer away, but I want to see if you're paying attention, so put it down in the comments. Now we say neither with none, okay? Not this, and not the other, okay? So remember, we use neither with none or nor, okay? For example, I can speak neither French nor Arabic. Now, would we say, here's the bonus, bonus question. Could we say this? I can speak neither French, none Arabic. Hmm. Does that sound right to you? Now, here's another one. Can I speak neither French or Arabic? Does that make sense? Now, remember, if you don't understand and you're trying to learn a little bit more, it's best to pause this and reread this. Now, the clue words are neither is used with nor, either is used with or, and both is used with and, okay? Neither and either, okay? Neither and either are used to agree with negative statements. You're probably asking, agree? Yes, agree. For example, if I say, I am not hungry, and then you say, neither am I, 
or it can mean I'm not hungry either, or I'm not hungry, right? But we can say I'm not hungry either, okay? So not goes with either, and neither is like saying not either. I know, a little tricky. So let's try more, okay? I say to you, you aren't trying. And then you say to me, neither are you. Or you could say, you aren't trying either. You see how neither and either are used to agree with negative statements. So think of N, neither, the N in neither as not, okay? So it's not either. Here's another one. I don't need help. And then you say to me, neither do I. Or you could say, I don't need help either. Now, the reason why need help is in parentheses is because you can also say, I don't either, okay? So remember, neither is like saying not either, okay? Now we'll do one more just for fun. Mary doesn't like meat. And then you say to me, neither does John. Or you can say, John doesn't like meat either. Okay, so practice some more, just press pause, and then you can practice all the other sentences. And then remember, neither and either are used to agree with negative statements. Negative meaning no, okay? So you're agreeing with the no, okay? The agreeing with the no is like saying, I'm not hungry. So you are agreeing that you are not hungry too. Now you see the conjunction I'm saying too. So let's learn some more. Now let's focus on so and to. So and to are used to show agreement with positive statements, okay? Now here's a rule. So plus the auxiliary, which is to be or to have, okay? Those auxiliaries, the helping word, which are the verbs, okay? Plus the subject. For an example, I am happy. And then you say to me, so am I. Or you can say, I am happy too. Okay. Here's another one. You are making a noise. And then you say to me, so are you. Or you can say, you are making a noise too. Is this starting to make more sense now how to use the word too? Let's do one more for fun. I need more money. And then you say to me, so do I. Or you can say, I need more money too. You starting to get the hang of it? Now remember, press pause and read all the other ones too, okay? Now, on the bottom of the screen, you will see sometimes you can use so plus auxiliary, which is to be or to have, plus the subject as a continuation of the first part of the sentence. Bonus question, what does continuation mean? Well, continuation means you are continuing, you are continuing to do it, okay? But what does continue mean? Put it down in the comments. For example, John can sing well and so can his brother. Or you can say, John can sing well and his brother can sing well too, okay? There's two ways to say this. Okay, let's practice. Jack can't swim well. Would it be two can his brother? Either can his brother? So can his brother? Or neither can his brother? 
Which one? Neither. Okay, did you get that? Now this was a little tricky. The hint word is can't, okay? The contraction can't is can not, okay? You're agreeing. Let's try another one. I like strong coffee. Is it two does my wife? Either does my wife? So does my wife or neither does my wife? Which one? So does my wife. Okay. I like strong coffee. So does my wife. Now, I could say I like strong coffee too. And so does my wife. Did you catch that? Put down in the comments why it's so and not to in the beginning of the sentence. Let's try another one. I don't know what's on. Is it to do I? Neither do I. Either do I or so do I. Neither do I. Why is it neither? because you are agreeing with the negative statement, I don't, or I do not. How'd you do? Next one, I was tired. Is it so were the others? Two were the others. Either were the others or neither were the others. So were the others. Well done. Did you catch that? We aren't rich. We aren't poor too. We aren't poor neither. We aren't poor so, or we aren't poor either. Which one? This is a tricky one. Either, okay. Now remember, we are agreeing with the negative statement. And the reason why we are using either is because of the contraction aren't, which is the same thing as are not, okay? How did you do? Congratulations if you got it. That means you're studying so hard, or maybe this is too easy for you. Mrs. Lopez wants to live in the country. Is it two does Mr. Lopez? So does Mr. Lopez. Either does Mr. Lopez or neither does Mr. Lopez. Which one? So does Mr. Lopez. Well done. I never go to the movies. I never go to the theater too. I never go to the theater, neither. I never go to the theater, so. Or is it, I never go to the theater either? Which one? Either, okay. Now, do you know why? Because we're agreeing with never. I never go to the movies. I never go to the theater either. Because we are saying not. We are agreeing, never and either, okay? Now, how would we use neither in this sentence? That's your bonus, put it down in the comments. I haven't read any newspapers. Is it to have, either have, neither have, or so have? Which one? Neither have I. Did you get that one? Now, bonus, how else can we say this? How else can we say this using either? Remember, neither is saying not either, okay? 
Nobody phoned me yesterday. Nobody came either. Nobody came to. Nobody came so. Or is it nobody came neither? Either. Well done. Bonus. How would we use this sentence using neither? Put it down in the comments. My friends don't mind the noise. Too do I, neither do I, either do I, or so do I. Which one? Neither do I. Another bonus. How would we use the word either in this sentence? Okay. So a hint. Neither means not either, okay? Put it down in the comments. He loves pop music. His brother loves it neither. His brother loves it either. His brother loves it too. His brother loves it so. How many people? Let's see if you get this. Two, his brother loves it too. Now put down the comments. Why don't we use the word so in this sentence? Next one, I've got an idea. Me neither, me too, me either, or me so. This is an easy one. Me too. Well done. Got to have some easy ones, right? Dad didn't know them well. Neither did mom. Too did mom. So did mom. Either did mom. Neither did mom. Bonus question. How would we use either in the sentence. Put it down in the comments. You mustn't drink this. You mustn't eat that too. You mustn't eat that neither. You mustn't eat that so. You mustn't eat that either. Which one? Either. Is this getting too easy for you? I'd like to go shopping. Neither would my cousin. So would my cousin. Either would my cousin. Two would my cousin. Which one? So, well done. Did you get that one? If you did, congratulations. Well, how did you do? Well done, everyone. Well, thanks for joining and until next time, bye.